Ooh, yeah, buddy, gotta warm up, gotta warm up. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's a little bit chilly today. Um, it was a lot worse earlier today, but it's warmed up. Not only that, we got the heater on. So, but purpose of this video today, I want to talk to you guys about something that I've always tried to see how to best do it without it. I guess being too ugly on the firewall and I will say this this is gonna be my very first time doing it on a Chevelle so hopefully this information helps you guys out if you guys done this in the past let me know put it down in the comments but I did just do it on that charger we we're doing mounting this ugly box underneath the dash a lot of times these brackets from vintage air they want you to mount them through the firewall right through that plate through that ugly plate through the firewall and i've done it don't get me wrong it looks okay but sometimes we want a super clean firewall i didn't even do this on my own chevelle by the way because when my chevelle had the firewall smoothed out it was already done it was already painted so there was no way i can sit there and do anything like this because then we would have had to repaint the entire firewall because we would have required welding on it but so this is for this Chevelle here, where we're gonna be mounting the AC box, but we want a clean firewall. So we have the opportunity to do that now. And this is kind of what I've come up with. Obviously, this is the bracket from Vintage Air, right? So this bracket will sit on just like this, like so. It'll mount there and it'll mount here, right? Over the lines here. Now I've already kind of mocked this up once, and you guys can see what I've kind of done on it. Now this bracket comes flat. I did a lot of the work without you guys already just so that way you guys don't have to watch all that boring stuff, me grinding and, and all that and trying to bend this metal. But also, this thing is not going to be perfect. You, for, for one, you'll never see it, but it's not going to be perfectly bent because I don't have, um, I want to say it's called a brake. It's a machine that actually bends metal and allows you to put a crease or bend in the metal. So I don't have anything like that. Only thing I got going on is over here, this trusty old thing, a little vice. A little vice grip, that's all we use today. Um, long story short, let me see if I can flip this thing around. We just use the other side of this vice. Um, I made a line, made a line. You see, I don't know if you can see it there. I made a line there with a the Sharpie and I made it right at that nut. Like these brackets have these built-in like, like nuts like that that they weld on from the factory. At vintage air so i made it right on both sides a top and bottom right because that's where these guys mount on the firewall so the purpose is to try to mount this thing without any bolts going through the firewall so we creased it there on both sides we just hit it with a little bit of hammer time and just worked it worked it worked it like i said that thing is not going to be perfect so don't I'm not saying this is going to be perfect but it i feel like it's definitely going to work so the reason why we bent it that way because when we mount it, this flat side will sit on the firewall, right? Now, I've created this little bracket. I should say made it. And I literally took like an old piece of metal that was um, vintage air, believe it or not, that you used to mount like your AC condenser with. I had an extra one. I just cut it up and made two of these little L brackets. That's why you have like two holes in there. Because this is a pre-hole that's already comes with the bracket. But we cut it. Here's the other half of it. I don't know where it went. Where do you go? See, look. Cut it straight down the middle, and we made two brackets. So, the reason why we bent this is so this bracket can bolt to the top like that. So, it'll bolt just like that on the top, and then on one on the bottom underneath it, supporting it. And why, you may ask? Because you want this removable, guys. If you ever have to do any work in there, and you want to remove the evap box from vintage air you don't want it welded in there permanently i mean you can but then it's going to be a pain in the ass to get it out or whatever so long story short we'll put the bolt like that because we're going to end up using that nut we'll thread a bolt and a washer and a nut and uh right through there like so and then this back side i will tack it in here that's also why i made these holes we'll tack it in onto the firewall 
once we have it leveled on there so we'll sit it in there with everything nice and level screwed in tighten and then we'll tack this bracket onto the firewall along with the bottom side so we'll do one like i said one on the top one on the bottom right and so we'll tack that in place and then we'll remove it again after we know it's in the right spot in the right location we'll remove this guy remove the evac box and then go back and then weld this bracket back in place and that should give us a nice mounting surface and removable with the washer bolt and nut all built in here so you can take this guy on and off so tell me what you guys think let me show you how this actually fits on the box itself it actually fits pretty well let me put, throw this on so i also made sure that it was not going to hit on either part of the box i'll show you where the bolts go into let's see let me put these bolts on real quick all right we got the box on i should say we got the bracket on and i went ahead and threw on those brackets we were just talking about you guys can see on kind of how that bolts up like that to the actual bracket itself like i said all we're doing is reusing the nut the back nut on it and utilizing it. and then with with us creasing it here it didn't really like getting away you guys can see it's still still clear look the nut is in there and though i should say the bolt is in there but it's still pretty clear nothing is hitting there's no rubbing any of that stuff so i feel like this is actually a really good idea like i said and we're util utilizing the actual bracket itself like i said you're definitely gonna have to take um a little bit of patience to kind of get that going but if you guys have like a break or something like that you can really bend metal man even even better like that would be the best way to do it if i probably ever go down to the shop maybe i can just take this piece and just have it nice professionally bent down but either way that's going to work perfectly you guys can see this will be on the firewall and then we'll take these put it on the firewall mount it with the other top bracket here and then mount it and then tack everything in and then remove the bolt and then go back and finish welding these brackets onto the firewall and it'll be removable and guess what best part you won't have any ugly bolts going through your firewall holding that ac box up so i really like it let me know what you guys think put it down in the comments below but let's uh let's throw it in real quick i'll level it out and you guys can see kind of what i'm talking about maybe have a better visual if this helps you guys out but i'm gonna throw that in tack it in place remove it make sure it's level and then go back and finish it up oh my god guys i definitely underestimated this i i really tried to set up the camera for you guys so you can see what i was doing but it was not gonna happen long story short um trying to tack this thing in by yourself and keep everything level and trying to record it was not gonna work um but that's kind of kind of what's got going on right now um obviously you got the bowl over here you got to put that one in make sure you mount that one underneath and then you got to line it up and get it level as possible but there's that top bracket it's just kind of tacked in i don't know if you guys can see it in there it's very tacked in for sure so we got to remove that top bolt and then remove the bottom one as well the bottom one probably looks worse guys it was a nightmare I'm trying to get that welder in here see if you guys can see it it's all gummed up i'll clean it up though i'll weld the rest of the bracket back in as soon as i pull those bolts off and unmount this box but that's kind of what you got to do to kind of get these things to float up in the air more or less by themselves but i will pull this off and then weld everything back in or i should see the bracket back in and then coat everything and then um kill mat it and everything else clean the firewall up and all that good stuff but that is going to allow us to run this box without any bolt through the firewall but guys whew, how's my hair let me know what you guys think you guys like this idea um if you guys done this before with your ac boxes as far as like flush mount no bolts through it um guys subscribe i see you guys watching see you guys watching so hit the subscribe button hit the like button i appreciate that it really helps the channel out and hit the bell for notifications guys you already know stay wrenching